first round for me was against the San Antonio Spurs, and I'm calling this the greatest NBA playoff game in league history. Quadruple overtime, Tracy McGrady goes off for 50 points, and I really needed every single one of them. I didn't expect the seventh seeded Spurs to give me such a tough matchup, but they did, and uh, ultimately we prevailed. Danny, was your first round as epic as Brian's? Nothing beats four overtimes. And in fact, I might have had a little bit too much confidence rolling in because I cut through all the teams I played like shredded wheat. Here's the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Heat. At power forward, Caleb Martin. At point guard, Kyle Lowry. At the other guard, Tyler Hero. At center, Bam Adebayo. At the other forward position, Jimmy Butler. The head coach of the visiting team is Eric Spolstra. Let's hear it for the starting five for the Boston Celtics. At forward, 6'9", number 42, Celtics have become so tough to score on. Jason Tatum says Rob can guard anybody. You always know you got protection behind you if you get beat. He has the potential to win defensive player of the year one of these days. I think that's in his future. So the time lord is biding his time, Kevin. <laughs> David, thanks. So the opening lineup for the Heat at the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Am Adebayo is out there with Martin and it's Butler in at the small forward. And for the Celtics, up at the forward spots, it's Tatum and Horford. Smart in the backcourt with Brown to his side. And it's Williams at the center, filling out the middle. We look at the Celtics. They come into the series, Greg, with every confidence that they're the better team and have what it takes to advance to the championship round. And rightfully so. Now is the time to show and prove. Deliver on the height, and let's see if they can take control of the series. And, and keep their focus, right? Keep their focus even when they feel like, yeah, we're the better team. But but you've got to make sure, as you've talked about before, on paying attention to the small detail. No doubt about it. I mean, you have to stay in the present and really be about so what has uh, made you good and gotten you to this point. That's a good line. Staying present versus well said. For athlete who's still developing his skills. Adebayo has become a threat at the offensive end. And Adebayo drops them both. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. 
Butler against Tatum. And there's the drive. Goes back up, and the layup is up and in. Now that's leadership. Tatum leads shot trajectories well and pounces on opportunities to grab second chance points. Now here's Butler. The pass to Hero. Here's Adebayo. He's guarded by Williams. Inside, pocket six. Smart against Lowry. Smart deciding where to go with it. Over Lowry. Nice shot by Smart. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. This is it to Butler. To the paint. Lowry against Smart. A shot by Lowry. No good. Leading right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. Smart passes to Williams. Outside, Horford. Here's Smart. Kept alive by Boston. Here's Williams. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. They yeah, are trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Back to Butler. Pass to Autobahn. Dishes it to Butler. And Tatum pulls it down. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Now, Adebayo. After Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside Butler. Hero against Brown. No one near Adebayo as he lets it go. No good. And they can't put him into this drought. That's the smart. It's hauled in by the Heat. Outside, Mark. Outside, Hero. Williams against Lowry. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. First personal foul. Austin shooting first their first free throws foul. of the game. At the line, Marcus Smart. At the line for two. And that one falls for Smart. And some of what Smart gives this team doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but, but he makes plays that help you win. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Miami. Miami. They trail by six. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. So this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't be doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Here are the NBA's 10 scores during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. Second, Jimmy Butler. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Adebayo. Again, the miss by the Heat. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And that's a foul called on Dan Adebayo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Kevin Love's checked in for Bam Adebayo. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And this is postseason play at its finest, refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. So it's Boston now. Outside, smart. And here's Tatum for three. And it's Lowry with the rebound. The Heat trail by six. He feeds it to Butler. Back to Lowry. Love in the post. Working on Williams. 
Shots good, good from Love. If your goal is to create a high percentage look, get it to Love in the painted area. From there, he'll usually make the right decision. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And, and the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Here's Lowry, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Heat have had two chances at the line already, making them both. And he makes the first. We love the intensity Kyle Lowry brings. He gives you a no-nonsense mentality at the point guard position. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Duncan Robinson comes in for Caleb Martin. And it's Oladipo in for Tyler Hero. Now here's Williams. Williams finds Brogdon. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. And the confidence Brogdon has in himself, it's infectious. Skilled at recognizing when to let it go. Robinson passes to Oladipo. Outside Butler. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. Jimmy. Capable of connecting from deep. The defense must honor Butler's ability to burn them with his jumper. Here's Hauser. Running by Robinson. Two minutes. Back to Brogdon. Down to five on the shot clock. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Duncan Robinson. And defense comes at Brogdon hard, but he shoots through. Good technique helped him get that one off. It's his first trip to the line. Vincent's checked in for Miami. Brogdon hits them both. Money from the strike. He does a great job night in and night out. Outside Robinson. Here's Vincent. to get a shot off. Oladipo misses. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. And the basket by Hauser. They rely on Derek White for good feeds. He plays unselfish heads-up basketball. Vincent the pass to Oladipo. Robinson with it. Back to Oladipo. Uses the glass to finish the way. He doesn't get exactly the screen he wants, but turns out he doesn't need it. And White picks to Brockton. To the right side. The offensive rebound. That's it. He's got two men now. And he's shooting two for three. And this is how confident Brockton is in his scoring ability. Able to get it done from everywhere. Here's the pass to Butler. Over Williams. And it's Butler with the jam. Not surprised to see Jimmy come down with the offensive rebound. He plays with heart and hustle. Brogdon with it. Six points for him. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Victor Oladipo. And he's the glue that holds this team together. Brogdon's calm demeanor and the lead by example approach is so valuable to the squad. That free throw good from Brogdon. So both teams making some changes here. Brogdon hits them both. Taken away. And it's out of bounds. The Heat will take it the other way.
And again, the turnover by the Heat. Boston. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Celtics out in front, leading by five. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And here we go, heading back to the action here in the Eastern Conference Final. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. And you know this, most of the time, offensive rebounds generate high percentage looks. So with Butler sitting on the bench, this is who Eric Spolstra has on the floor. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. Max Struess is out there with Martin, and it's Autobio in at the five. The Heat trail by five. Outside Lowry, passes to Hero. Rebound, Boston. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. Now, Hero. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And Max Drews picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Marcus Smart's check in for the Celtics. Marcus Smart. To the middle. Horford the pass to Smart. Horford tried to free himself up. Offensive rebound. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And how about the court awareness from Horford? Quickly grabs the board and doesn't let the possession go to waste. While refines truth. Martin trying to free himself up. And again, it's the Heat missing. Celtics leading by seven. Here's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. Aggressive and efficient. Tatum using his size around the rim. That's what this team wants to see more of. Now here is Lowry. Knocked away. Out of bio, high post. Back to Lowry. Just five on the clock. Puts it up for out of bio. Brown with it. Picked up by Hero. Brown. Good. Brown's got the lead up to 11 now for Boston. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. The way they've been going after steals in this game, it has been super impressive. They are wreaking havoc right now. And, and yeah, how about this team also following up their shots, getting those offensive boards also a key for their success. Such a wide open look. Hero. Hero's got three. himself on the board with three there. Set him up, he'll knock him down. Tyler was drafted largely for that dead eye jumper. Horford in the post, covered by Mark. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the launch. Personal foul. First team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Line for your Celtics. Al Horford. And that one falls for Horford. All right, he's checked in for Mike Muscow. And Miami also making a switch. Oladipo, he's checked in for Kyle Lowry. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Hero passes to Struess. Adebayo against Horford. From 13, misses off the right eye. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Smart misses. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Oladipo misses. And so Crown will bring it up for the Celtics. From downtown, gets it to go from beyond the arc. Brown's got five points in the quarter. Great to see Brown drop that perimeter jumper, shooting off his terrific stroke from beyond the arc. 
It's Martin on the wing. It's Oladipo on the wing. Pass to Autobahn. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Horford. Celtics leading by 13. And White kicks to Tatum. And the Celtics another three. Shooting much better this quarter than last. You can see his confidence growing. Time out call the heat. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. The Heat also changing it up. Love's check in for Caleb Martin. Jimmy Butler comes in for Max Struess. And it's Gabe Vincent in for Hero. Adebayo finds Love. Here's Vincent. Pass to Oladipo. Love up top. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Love's got his second bucket of the night. Even way back in high school, you could see that Love's mid-range jumper was going to be a weapon. It's White on the wing. Headed by Oladipo. Williams looking around. Five to shoot. Takes a three. Unable to get that one. And it's Miami the other way. The pass to Butler. Love outside. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Love's got five points in the quarter. Love gives you another guy who can extend the defense, can go down low and score. Give the man credit for what he brings to this team. Two minutes. Now here's Williams. Still getting Two warmed minutes. up offensively. No scoring yet from him. White. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Up top, Oladipo. White covering. Passes it to Vincent. Good ball movement here by Miami. Down low. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. First, personal. And point. that's what happens when you play in attack mode. Oladipo doesn't take no for answer. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Austin making some changes. Hauser's checked in, and Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for White. Heat also with the sub. Robinson's checked in. Here's Hauser. Butler with the steal. One fourteen left in the first half. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Pass to Hauser. Oladipo against Brogdon. Forty-six seconds left in the first half of basketball. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Here's Vincent, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. First personal foul. The Heat shoot their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Line for the Heat, Gabe Vincent. The first free throw is good. Robert Williams is checked in for Boston. Kyle Lauer, he's checked in for Miami. He hits both from the strike. Celtics leading by five. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Brogdon. 20 seconds left now here in the second. That one's off. Still out of sync. Butler feeling out of it. And he drives in. And there it is for him. Jimmy. Butler's got four points this quarter. That's the kind of muscle Butler has. Even when he gets hit on a drive, he finishes strong. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here? Celtics lead by three.
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully, we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. How about the playoff atmosphere? We're going to break down all the first half action for you. Looking at Boston, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Heat? They've got to be more assertive on the glass. Getting out hustle is a great way to lose a game. Second half, they can generate extra possessions. It will go a long way toward getting the W. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Headed to the floor right now, it's something. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Out on the wings, it's Brown and Tatum. The post tandem, it's Horford and Williams. And it's Smart in at the one. That's the Boston Five. Now, here's Brown. Back to Smart. Over Lowry. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Butler. Lee pass was put in just the right spot. Butler's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Heat. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Brown against Hero. Brown. Good. Brown's got seven. And very early on, Brown learned how to finish through contact and essential skill for an NBA player to master. Now here's Butler. He's got 11. Outside Hero. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Jalen Brown. First team often viewed as just a shooter. Tyler Hero can score, though, in a variety of ways, which makes him very difficult to defend. For Miami, they have shot 6 or 7 at the line. And Hero drops them both. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Tatum kicks to Horford. Smart on the wing. Now recovering. Lowry against Smart. Shot clock at six. And it's Miami with the rebound. Just over a minute and a half had passed here in the third quarter. Martin the pass to Hero. And the rejection by Tatum. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Keep moving the ball around. Six on the shot clock. 
Here's Hero. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. You can easily understand on that play why many are excited by Tyler Hero. His potential is impressive. For Miami, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. That one drops. He ties it up. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Yeah, look, he'd like to take the lead on that possession, but at least he was able to tie the game up. And Williams with the stuff. What I really love about this kid, you know, Williams is it. He's physical, he's explosive, and yes, he plays above the rim. He just brings that nastiness to the game. Now here's Butler. He's got 11. Lowry inside the line. Miami no good on that time either. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Tatum kicks to Horford. Smart on the wing. With the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. Smart's got his second bucket tonight. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And that's the kind of bucket they needed. Close game in the second half. Great finish on that one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robert business as usual for Adebayo. Just pulling his way around the paint. The Heat have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. He throw good. Adebayo. Austin making some changes. Muscala comes in for Williams. And it's wide in for Marcus Smart. Max Truce has checked in for the Heat. The Celtics have gone 3 of 5 to start the second half. Developing a nice rhythm out there. The basketball. up high post and he gets the friendly spin and that one drops brown's got nine and you can tell brown has a mind for the game calls the pick and roll and works it to perfection hero passes to autobio here's Bruce. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And I don't like what they've been doing down low in the post. Round with it, and it's Martin picking him up. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. And that is a guy who is constantly seeking contact. Defenders have to be more cautious around him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one at the line is good. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Al Horford. Then for the Heat. Love check in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Oladipo in for Hero. Passes it to Struce. There's the dish to Martin. Pass to Love. Back to Oladipo. And it's White with the rebound. And so White will bring it up for Boston. And slam dunk by Tatum. Man, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Now, here's Bruce. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Oladipo. He can't get it to go. And it's Boston the other way. To the inside. Brown. Here's Tatum. Goes to the reverse layup. And it in. 11 points in the game. I like when Tatum goes inside. He goes in that height and touch to perfection from the interior. And the Heat all time here. Let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Celtics making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And Miami also making a switch. Robinson's checked in for Kyle Lauer. Robinson against Tatum. Robinson passes to Struth. Rejected by Brockton. And he's able to get it back. They need this. Not going to go that time. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight for that department. 
that one is good. And now a 10 point Boston lead. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Boston. It's easy for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The so block total shows their commitment to contesting shots. And also, guys, how about the hustle we've seen on the boards? They're getting after it and cashing in on second chance going out. And some changes here for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in, and it's Pritchard in for White. And Miami with a change here, too. Vincent's check in. The combination of shooting and speed on the depot provides his team is invaluable. And his hunger to keep getting better also impressive. And it's the heat with the ball after Malcolm Brogdon hitting the three. Brogdon against Oladipo. Master Robinson with his first shot attempt and he connects with the jumper you have to run Robinson off his shots or he will light you up here's Hauser covered by Mark and there's the pass to Tatum now here's Brogdon and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here nice work to get it inside and drop contact and this is his third trip to the line tonight. That free throw good from Brogdon. The Heat making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Brogdon hits them both. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Vincent, the pass to love. Here's Vincent. A three ball. A rebound by Brogdon. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Pritchard. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Vincent, first personal foul. Third team foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Peyton Pritchard. First free throw is good. Two shots. Both good from the line that time. The Heat trail by 15. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Right side, Butler over Tatum. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. That will count. Can't connect. And so it's Boston. Finding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. We come back right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court dish. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. Adebayo is the big man with Butler slotting in at the four. At the guard spots, Lowry and Hero. And it's Robinson in at the three spot. Now here is Robinson. Pass to Hero. That shot no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Brown feeling it out a bit. Right side Tatum. It's Brogdon on the wing. It's hauled in by the Heat. Adebayo's got rebound number five here tonight. He dishes it to Butler. Right side Robinson. Pass to Adebayo. 
So for Brogdon, the shot by Autobio, no good. Celtics leading by 15. You're smart. The kick out to Brown. Second chance effort. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Heat trail by 15. Pass to Hero. Now the pass to Lowry. There's the lob to Hero. A great feed by Lowry. He'd rather pick up an assist than score a bucket. For Boston, they've gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Smart against Lowry. Smart dishes to Brown. Feeds to Williams. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the Celtics lead by 15. And with their hot shooting here in the second half, their field goal percentage over 50% now for the game. Lowry kicks to Hero. Passes it to Autobahn. Over Williams. Williams with the block. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. That's tipped. Outside. Smart. Pass to Brogdon. Six to shoot. Robinson against Brown. A new 14 for Boston. Banked in off the glass. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game oh, that the continues heat. to get better. Timeout called the Heat. Definitely not pleased with their rebounding at the defensive end. The, the number of putbacks they've allowed has been terrible. I'm sure that's what he's going to address during this timeout. Now Hofer is checked in for Boston. Heat also with the sub. Martin's checked in for Duncan Robinson. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Oh, we can't get it to go. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. The three from Tatum. That's his fourth miss. He's made five of nine. The Heat trail by 17. Here's Autobio. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Bam is a pro at absorbing contact, especially when he's locked in on scoring. Outside Tatum. Inside Horford. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Foul. First team foul. And that one falls for Horford. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Butler. Pass to Mark. Outside Hero. Just five to shoot. Over Brown. Hero, no good. He's doing what he can to help him cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. And the shot goes down. Eight points for Marcus Smart. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this juncture. Now here is Lowry. Hero passes to Autobio. Hero against Brown. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Tyler Hero hammering it down. Playing with a lot of confidence. And the pass to Brown. He kicks it to Horford. Tatum looking around. And it's off from three-point range. And here's Hero. He'll bring it up for Miami. It's an 18-point game. Harden with the bucket. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Now 
now here's Tatum. Outside, Horford. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the fourth. Loads it up for Williams. It's deflected. Now, Mark. Williams with the block. And if ever there were a way to kick off the NBA Conference Finals, this is it. Going to be a table-setting victory here in Game know. 1 for Boston. Miami you know, ball. Their big advantage was points in the paint. And they found a way to pound the ball inside. And that was working all game long. And they open these conference finals with a forceful performance to take the early lead in the series. Yeah, they, they talked about sending a message here in game one, and no doubt about it, they delivered that message loud and clear. It's obvious who has the upper hand going forward in this series. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box score, there were some great numbers for Robert Williams. He came out and let everyone know that points would be hard to come by with the way he swatted away shots and protected the rim. Lock at six. Boston, no good that time either. And here are the Heat now. They trail by 16. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Outside Butler. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First, first it goes on Jason Tatum. First crafty play by Jimmy, sticking with his shot to spike the close D to draw the foul. Free throw, good bumps. And so Butler nails both of them. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. Yeah, and you got to jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. The shot and game clock separated by four. Passes it to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. The end of the drought. It's not going to go for him. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, David. Thanks very much, Jalen. On a real roll right now, how much pride do you take in the win streak? Um, let's just keep it going. Just keep playing basketball, keep having fun, keep smiling, and um, it's fun when you win. That alternative's not very good, so you want to keep winning. Thanks again, man. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.